In this video, I'm going to show you the latest vehicles and their prices that's been added to the ship shop in the latest Star Citizen Alpha 3.24 build. Before we get into the video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTR Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Before we get started, I'd like to give a big shout out to Lucky Charming for being the latest channel member, as well as gifting 15 tier 2 channel members. A big thank you, Lucky Charming. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. So, um... CIG has announced in the latest patch that there has been a few vehicles added to uh, the ship shop. So I wanted to go through it and see the ones that they've uh, um, added as well as their prices. Okay, so I'm over here at uh, Lorville. I'm not sure what my character is doing. It's really annoying. Let's, let's, let's try this one. Uh, let's see. All right, so the very first one that they've added that I did notice was the Mirai Pulse, okay? If you go here, the Mariah Pulse is now 185,000 AUEC, which is very, very cheap um, to get early game. Okay, so the very next one is, uh, let's see here, what is it, what is it, what is it? The RSI Ursa Medivac, which is a big one, which is one that a lot of people want. If you check that, it's a hundred, it's even cheaper, I think. It's 137,000 AUEC to get the Ursa Medivac. That is big. Let me, let me quickly just grab that. Okay, why is my character doing this? It's weird. The next one is the Argo um, MPUV 1T. So this is one is one that has a tractor beam. Let's see if it's in here. Yes, the tractor. Yes. So if you want this one as well, it's now available to be purchased. It's 415,800, uh, which is not bad. Just uh, let y'all know, this one doesn't have a Q drive, I believe. It doesn't have a Q drive. So just keep that in mind when you're buying this. And um, man, we just got a channel subscription. Thank you uh, for the channel subscription, guys. All right, um, next one is the Aegis Saber Fiber, okay? Why Why is the character doing all this? So Aegis Saber Fiber. So now the Aegis Saber Fiber, right now it's it's free, <laughs> $0, but I'm sure it's a bug. I'm sure they'll update it in the next patch. But uh, it's now purchasable in-game. I love the Saber. I think I may grab it. The comet is 4.8 million. But this is just a regular f uh, saber though. It's not even a, it's not even the, uh, the Raven model. So I'm not sure what the price will be though for it. But, um, yeah, so those are the vehicles. Also, they did add the modules for the retaliator. I believe this one is probably going to be at New Babbage at the, uh, not center mass, but the other, um component shop there and um i think i'll go and, and see if i can find it and just to show you guys okay i'll see you guys shortly okay so i'm back so if you go to um what is this what is this omega pro at new babbage you'll go go to the terminal and under it's not even named yet but it's an empty category you select that you should see things called placeholder right now. You should see the retaliator uh, module. So 400,000 for the cargo module and uh, the torpedo front, the front module and the torpedo uh, front is 1.8 million. Damn. Does it come with the torps <laughs> pre-installed? <laughs> And then the rear module you get it's 450 and then one and 800,000 for the rear. Interesting. Don't you get the same amount? Do you get the same amount of torps back there? Why is there such a huge price difference? That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. So these are the modules and these are the prices right now, at least as of this patch. You guys let me know your thoughts and anything we just discussed in this video. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Ninja, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.